Hello guys! Today we are going to learn about plants. We will learn about plants. But before we start, we have to remember some things that we have learned already. Okay? Let's go! We already learned about life cycles. We learned the life cycles of different animals and insects and even the human life cycle. Remember? Let's watch this video to remember what was a life cycle. Hey! That's Jester! <laughs> First Jester was a puppy, a young dog, and then an adult. Adult dogs can have more puppies. Or this duck. It started as an egg, then it was a hatchling and a duckling, and then it grew up to be an adult duck. Then the female duck lays eggs of her own. Or this turtle. Like a duck, it starts as an egg, then a hatchling, a young turtle, and then an adult that can also lay eggs. See how these are all circles? This is called the life cycle, and it goes around and around for every kind of animal on Earth. Even a butterfly? Even a butterfly! See, this butterfly starts as an egg, then a caterpillar, then it is in a chrysalis, and there it becomes an adult butterfly. If it's a female, then it can lay eggs of its own. And a frog? It starts as an egg, too. Then a tadpole, a froglet, and an adult frog that can lay eggs. And the life cycle starts all over again. Do people have a life cycle, too? They sure do. We start as a newborn baby, then a toddler, then a child, a young adult, and then an adult. Hey, that's my mom and dad. That's right. Remember, even though animals grow up differently, every animal has a life cycle. Now we have to remember one more thing before we start learning about plants. We already learned about living and non-living things. We learned that the living things need water, food, and the living things grow. And we learned that the non-living things do not need water, do not need food, and they don't grow. Let's watch this video to remember what we learned about the living and non-living things. Let's learn today about living and non-living things. Let's begin. Let's learn first about living things. Living things are people, like you, me, and your family. Living things are animals too, like a cat, a dog, and a cow. And living things are plants, a tree, and even a flower. Living things need water, food, and air. The living things can move. Living things grow. They have a life cycle. Let's learn now about the non-living things. Non-living things are a chair, a bottle, a rock, and a toy and a lot of different things around us non-living things they don't need water they don't need food and they don't need air and living things don't move and they don't grow Come with me and let's learn more about living and non-living things. 
So now let's talk about plants. Now we know that plants have a life cycle and are living things. So we are ready to go. But I have a question. Why plants are living things? Plants are living things because they need food, water, and they grow. Let's see now what a plant needs to grow. Plants make their own food using sunlight. Plants need water to help them grow and stay healthy, just like us. Without water, plants would dry up and die. Plants need soil because as it grows, the roots hold onto the soil to keep the plant still. Plants also get a lot of nutrients and water from the soil to help them grow and be healthy. Plants breathe in and breathe out through their leaves, so they need air. So, with sunlight, water, soil, and air, a plant will grow because it is a living thing. So now, let's see how the plants grow. Let's learn the life cycle of a plant. How plants are living things, they have a life cycle. So let's learn about it. Let's learn about the life cycle of a plant. First, we have the seed. Seed. Repeat after me. Seed. This one is the sprout. Sprout. Repeat after me. Sprout. This one is the seedling. Seedling. Repeat after me. Seedling. And this is the plant. The plant. And next is the adult plant. Adult plant. That's the big plant. The life cycle of a plant begins with a seed, a small seed. Then the seed turns into a sprout. Then the sprout turns into a seedling. After that, the seedling turns into a plant. And at the end, with all the sunlight, the water, the soil, and the air, it turns into an adult plant. Now it's our time to see how the plants grow. So let's become scientists. To be scientists, we will do an experiment. And for our experiment, we will need one plastic cup, we will need cotton, and we will need three beans. We will have to follow just two simple steps. First, you will have to put the beans and the cotton in the plastic cup. And then you will have to put a little bit of water until the cotton gets wet. You will have to put your cup with your beans somewhere where it can get sunlight and air. And don't forget, give your plant water. As scientists, we cannot forget to give our plant sunlight, water, and air. And when our plant has grown, we can put it in soil. Every scientist takes notes of their experiment. So that's what we will do. You will have your own plant journal. And there you will take notes about your plant and how it is growing. Every change you see in your plant, you must draw it in your journal. Don't forget to send me pictures of how your plant is growing. When your plant is fully grown, 
you will have to send me your journal to see how you are taking notes of the growth of your plant. So now go and have fun being a scientist who learns about plants. Goodbye!